couple of patient claims he was sexually assaulted by a local doctor while under anesthesia, but the doctor is telling a different story. I was stunned, I was shaking. What I was accused of never happened. Would Team 10 investigates see the exclusive interview? A Team 10 exclusive. A local doctor is accused of sexually assaulting patients who were under anesthesia. Team 10 investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner spoke to a former patient who says that he was abused. And then later this week, Jennifer got the accused doctor to sit down for an interview. The doctor denies any abuse. The hospital cleared him to return to work, but police have an active criminal investigation and the DA's office has been fighting the hospital for information. He's normally a tough guy. I'm, I'm sad. But tonight his eyes have welled with tears. Can't believe that somebody would do this. Edward Braun of Alpine details the day he got a life changing call from Scripps Mercy Hospital in Hillcrest, notifying him that he may have been sexually assaulted by his anesthesiologist, Dr. Robert Stevens, while Braun was under anesthesia for surgery. I was stunned. I was shaking. What I was accused of never happened. Dr. Stevens says he doesn't even remember Braun's surgery. Given that I've done 5,000 plus surgeries, only the remarkable ones stand out, and that entire day was thoroughly unremarkable. But it doesn't end with that day and that patient. According to the state health report, it was in 2017 when three nurses came forward and mentioned multiple patients. One nurse claimed to have witnessed the anesthesiologist's hand underneath the sheets on four other occasions when patients were under general anesthesia. Braun's nurse reported that she saw the doctor's hand by Braun's groin and then she tried to pull the blanket off and he pulled it back and then she yanked it off and saw what he was doing. So I was still under anesthesia, unconscious when it happened. I've never been inappropriate with, with any of my patients, nor would I ever be. Why would three nurses falsely accuse you of something so egregious? Again, it's, it's speculation, and, and I, I don't want to speculate because that, 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 I don't see any benefit of me speculating in, in that respect. Dr. Stevens said he sometimes may have had his hand under the drapes to check EKG leads and monitor leads. The state report reveals the nurses were the ones who got in trouble for not immediately speaking up about what they allegedly witnessed. But there's no mention of any corrective action for the doctor. They report something and they get reprimanded for it. That's not right. The hospital sent 10 News a statement reading in part that Dr. Stevens was suspended following the allegations. And after five full day evidentiary sessions, the arbitrator found that while the initial action was reasonable, the suspension was no longer reasonable and he should be permitted to return. Dr. Stevens says the arbitrator reviewed all the records and witness testimony. And ruled that not only was their story changing on that side, but that their witnesses were not credible that the witnesses were not believable, that I was credible and honest. He signed a confidential agreement with Scripps and voluntarily left. The story doesn't stop there. San Diego police have an active criminal investigation, according to a deputy DA who's involved in the case. That DA confirmed that prosecutors have fought all the way up to the California Supreme Court to get records from Scripps Mercy Hospital, but have so far been unsuccessful. The DA agreed its office is putting up a more aggressive fight than what's typical, but wouldn't comment further about why. I put my life in this guy's hands to take care of me, and he, he abused his power. Braun is now suing the doctor, hospital, and anesthesia group for assault, battery, and negligence, among other complaints. Initial allegations are very catchy, and very, they, they, do, they, do, they do pack a punch, but they aren't the truth. Although other patients may have been affected, Braun was the only one who the hospital could identify. Dr. Stevens is now practicing at Alvarado Medical Center near SDSU. In the newsroom, Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.